Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in Grade 5 we are working on Module 2, Lesson 18. And just as we were doing yesterday, we are using base fa basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. So we are again dealing with estimates today. Um, again, we are not worried about coming up with specific answers. We're just worried about doing estimates well. So today the numbers are going to be a little bit bigger than yesterday. That's the extra challenge. But the underlying task is exactly the same. Let's take a look at maybe three problems from tonight's homework. The directions for all of number one, and there are a lot of problems, more than I even put here on this page, are estimate the quotients for the following problems. The first one is done for you. Well, let's take a look at how they've done this first one. In this problem, it looks like they started with a fairly large number, 8,328, and they were dividing by 41. And if they did what they did yesterday, and I think they did, they looked at that divisor first and they said 41. Well, that's 410, so that's very close to just 40. And then they started looking at the whole, and they started to, started to look for numbers that would be easily divisible by 40. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Um, and I can see their logic here because, right, we know that four, uh, that four is easily, that something like eight is easily divisible by four. And so we can probably guess that something like 8,000 would also be divisible by four or by 40. And so they went ahead and did that, right? They made their whole 8,000, they went there, they made their divisor 40, and that gave them a, an estimated quotient of 200. So let's see if we can do the same thing with our work tonight. Let's look at 2B. Our whole number is 2100 or 2109, and we're dividing it by 23. So again, we're going to look first at our divisor. So 23, that's two tens, and it looks like a lot closer to two tens than three tens. So I think our best estimate would be simply 20. And if I look at that, I might look at my whole and think, what number that's very close to this would be easily divisible by 20. And the first number that comes to mind is actually just 2,000. 2,000 would be super easy, right? And it's pretty close to that number. In fact, if we were to estimate this to the nearest 1,000, we would say 2,000. So let's see if that, I think that's going to work pretty well for an estimate, right? That 20, uh, that 2,109 is very close to 2,000. 23 is very close to 20. And so I'm going to say that our estimated quotient is 2,000 divided by 20. Let's see. Uh, this would be the same as 200 divided by 2, and 200 divided by 2 is simply 100. So our pretty good estimate of our problem, our division problem, is simply 100. Let's take a look at another problem, problem 1D. Again, our whole is fairly large and fairly complicated, 3,861, and our quotient is 59. So let's look at our quotient first. I'm sorry, not our quotient, our divisor. So this is 5 tens and 9 ones, and that is very close to 6 tens. So I'm think, I think I'm just going to say that, that our, a good estimate for our divisor is 6 tens. And now I'm going to look at our whole again and think, hmm, what number that's close to this would be easily divisible by 60? And again, let's see, 6, let's see, I'm thinking of my multiples of 6. 6, 36 would be a multiple of 6. So I think maybe 3,600, let's write that in here, 3,600 would be very easily divisible by 60. It would be very close to our whole number, 3,600. And look, our next one up would be 4,200, and I think that would be too high. Again, it's just estimates, so if I decided to go that way, I'd be still reasonably close. But let's say 3,600, 3,600 divided by 60. Well, again, if we think of this as, uh, as 360 tens divided by 6, tens, we would have an easier time. In fact, we might just think of this whole problem as just, we can divide both parts by 10, take those zeros away. 300, let's see, 360 divided by 6 is the same as 36 tenths. Let's see, I think that's, that would be 60, right? 60, 360 divided by 6, or 300, 3,600 divided by 60. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Our whole is given as 8,432, and our divisor is 81. So I'm going to estimate my divisor first. Let's see, that's 81, so I think that's really close to 80. And then I'm going to look at my whole, and I'm going to think, well, geez, 8,000 would be really easy, and that's pretty close. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to say 8,000 is a reasonable estimate of my whole, and 8,000 divided by 80, again, very simple, right? 8,000 divided by 80 would just be, let's see, 180 would go in there, and then two zeros would be 800. Let's see if that works out. 100 times 80 would be 80 with two more zeros. That would be 8,000. Yep, sure enough, that's 100. And so we've successfully estimated what our quotient will be for those three problems, as well as looking at our example. 
So again, the numbers are sl uh, slightly larger. Today we're looking at four-digit um, four holes instead of three-digit holes, but the principle is still the same. We're just going to estimate that uh, divisor first, and then we're going to look for holes that are easily divisible and close to what our whole number, our specific whole number is, and then we'll be off to the races. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.